Alrighty guys, welcome back. If you remember last time, my Xbox froze up like it always does. Uh, I should probably invest in a new one, but this one keeps working, so, well, halfway working. So I've been refraining from doing so, but um, let's hope that the, the chase will go a little bit better this time as I adjust my volume. And I just noticed that the thingy-mabob is um, do not touch the ground, so I'm going to go ahead and equip my bow here. Do I not have any arrows? I thought I bought arrows. Alright, never mind. Looks like I'm equipping my pistol. I thought I bought arrows at the uh, general store in New York, but I guess maybe I didn't. I don't really know. Stop the Patriots within the, the time limit here. So apparently I'm neither on the Patriots nor British nor Templar nor really assassin side, so to say. I'm just kind of my own my own boss here, I don't take any orders from anyone or anything like that, so... Alright, let's go ahead and shoot this douche. Screw you, man. Off with you. And continue on with my life. Come on, pony, we have to go! Let's go, let's go! I don't know how many of these guys are around here, but... Whoa, okay, or you can glitch up right there. At least it didn't freeze on the first guy this time, like it did last time. That's a good sign, maybe... Maybe just hopefully it will um, stop freezing. I'm sure once I get to the end of the game, at the final point, it will decide it wants to freeze up. But All right, horse, go. I don't know what the heck you're doing. Oh, man, where do you think you're going? Can I sword fight them or what's going on? All right, so I touched the ground. He just killed his own horse, or at least hurt his own horse. Let's go ahead and kill him, and then we can go ahead and stab him in the face, too. Where's my pony? Let's go. Alright, so screw full sync. I don't feel like shooting everyone. I don't really know how you would kill them without <clears throat> touching the ground if you run out of ammo. I assume you would just, I don't know, have to get lucky or something. I don't really know. And maybe assassinate them while on your horse, or jump onto their horse, or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. I tried to just hit him while I was on my horse, but that didn't work out so well, considering how Connor just felt like jumping off the horse and into the air. Which, I mean, it worked out for me because I don't really care too much either way. Holy elk. Get out of here, elk. I'll race you. Where do you think you're going, huh? I don't think you know where you're going. I don't think you do, sir. Can I easily shoot you without having to do the whole aim down sights thing? Can I just press Y or... Shoot! Fire! Fire! Really, Connor? You're gonna take an hour and a half? Alright, you know what, Connor? You missed your chance badly. You could have had this guy. Go! Shoot! I tried! Connor wouldn't shoot! What do you want me to do, game? I was pressing Y, maybe if your crappy shooting mechanics would work better. If I could just lock onto the target and press Y like I used to be able to do. But oh no, you gotta hold, do this whole little aim down sights crap. And turns out you can't... Oh my god, I'm all the way back here. Are you serious? Okay, I'm not messing around this time. I'm just gonna jump off my horse and kill him. Screw it. Oh, and I don't even get my ammo back. That's just fantastic, game. That is just gravy. That's what I like to see. I like to see me fail the mission and lose my resources from what I used on that mission that I'll never be able to get back. And that served me no purpose, considering how I failed the mission either way. And this stupid freaking horse won't go the right way. There we are. And should be a guy up here, right? Uh, maybe not. Do I... Oh, okay, there we are. Go ahead and shoot him. There you go. Glad to see you can finally shoot someone around here. Alright, reload your stupid gun. Alright, so it should be good to go for the next time I need to use it, which won't be up here, but it'll be the next one, I think. That might be up here, if I decide I want to shoot this guy, but usually they got off their horses, so I might just fight them from there. Might just do that. That'll, that'll work out for me anyway. Hey, chumps. What's up? Boom. Hey, it does work. Kill him. Alright, or fail, epically. Whoa, I know you are not running. Connor! What are you doing? Aim at the guy running away. Okay, there we go. 
I was gonna say, if he gets away because you're too stupid to aim at him. Boom! Let's go ahead and kill you. And quick jump over here. And kill you. Oh, what you know about that, huh? I know you're dead. Hey, hey, where'd my horse go? Let's go, pony. We don't have all day. We only have a minute and a half left. Go! Ride! Alright, I'm just not even gonna take chances. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna try to jump from horse to horse and assassinate this chump up here. Pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do, because the gun thing only works on non-moving targets for me. I'm not, I'm not skilled enough to ride a horse and aim a gun at the same time, especially when the aiming mechanics kinda suck. In my opinion, I'm not a big fan of them. Maybe some of you are. I'm not really sure. I haven't watched many or really anyone's opinion on this game so far, so I'm not sure what the general public thinks of the game. But I know I don't really care for both the free running I should make and sure the shooting mechanics. Not a fan of either of those. Everything else pretty good though. I'm enjoying everything else. The uh, the fighting, eh. It's harder, but I understand why they did it. It works. It's fun. So I can't really complain about it too much, but it was definitely a lot easier in the previous game since you could block and stuff like that and actually lock onto targets. But, you know, I guess I wanted to just mix it up and it's not like it's terrible or anything, it's just different, a little harder. You can't quite be as OP as you used to be when you can just sit there and block until they attack and then counter and this stupid freaking horse. Get off the rocks, you stupid horse, before I kill you. Turn you into glue or... Oh my god, horse, go down here, you stupid piece of crap. Is that so hard to do? There you go, dumb horse. Let's go. We're almost there, only a couple meters to go. Not my village. It's gonna be burnt for the second time. Why does this always happen to me? Prepare yourselves. The British and the Patriots are coming. Mostly the Patriots. Either way, they're still British, so... Whatever. Where's the fat face kid? Charles Lee. Charles Lee, how dare you? Must go stop Charles Lee, he's just gonna end up killing everyone. I know this man, and I know he's a jerk, and nobody likes him, except for Haytham. Haytham likes him. Where are we going? Is that him up there? What the heck is going on here? Warriors neutralized. I have to kill my own guys? What? What is this? I am so confused as to what's happening right about now. Am I just supposed to knock him out, I guess? I guess killing them is probably not the best way to go. You guys are stupid. Oh my god! This one just got attacked out by a deer. Alright, hold still, dude. Where are you going? I gotta knock all of you out. Possibly give you brain damage for the rest of your life, but... A retarded Indian's better than a dead Indian, I suppose. Depending on who you ask, of course. Dun dun da 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 dun dun. Let's go, knock you out. Boom! One more to go. Must. Do it. Ugh. Must give concussion to Indian. What are you doing hiding in that bush? Oh, you see nothing. You see nothing. Nothing at all. Hey, it's the fat face kid. He's about to die. Boom! Head blown off right there. Nope. Okay. Whoa there, Tubby. Charles Lee. 
But today or today, I don't want to go near you. I don't want to go near you. I don't want to go near you. A co ga ti ga rungwe? O hanru zi te zak ni gohra denyu. Zi a sa de ni ande do skot ni gohra gani. Nek zi ona gan rune de. Zi un guan ho garum de. Te gat ni o ska a ki. Gwa nek ti un guat ni o ska an zi wat gwa nia heze ne a skoi a danu statsege. Dan yu zak ni gohra di hanto. Danu wat dizu wat daksa de ne zungwe da sum a. Za derissa. Really fat face kid, I taught you everything you know. And you're really gonna try to kill me. I'm a trained assassin, you know that? Oh no, I had to kill him. I totally couldn't have just choked him out and subdued him. Death was the only answer for that. I just took the Hatham way out. That's what I did. Yo, Tena. Taz is a donsum. It's a good old head stone. Redden I gave him. Charles Lee. Mountmouth. Was that the hardship? I saw one out to Marse. Zina hold them but three hot. Redden I didn't know you only. I don't think you'd be able to talk very well, considering I stabbed him like right in the neck. But whatever, whatever the game wants to think. Bum 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 bum. Well, that was completely necessary. Now what? Where's Charles Lee? I must end his life. Where is he? Tell me where he is, you dead fat faced Indian piece of crap. Where'd you go? Tell me where he is. Ah, uh, my brother, I will throw you off the cliff. Don't worry. I shall save your body by giving you a sail. Oh, I thought the water was right here. What the heck? Is there a cliff anywhere nearby? I don't feel like carrying this guy forever. I just wanted to throw him off a cliff real quick. Is that so much to ask for? Dang it. No cliffs around here. I'm carrying this guy till I find something to throw him off. Here we go. This works for me, I guess. If I can even get up here with his body. Probably not. Come on, climb up there. Yes, I can. Goodbye, brother. Alright, so that wasn't quite as cool as I wanted it to be. Oh well. Bummer, dude. Dun dun da 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 dun. Free run in through the trees. I wonder if the water will make the uh, the surface any slippery or anything like that. And affect my free running ability. Probably not. I wouldn't imagine. It never said anything about rain affecting the traction you have or anything like that. Let's just drop. I'm surprised I didn't like break my knees or something like that shins go through my knees or whatever happens whenever you fall from a high distance and land on your feet like that. I'm sure something bad. Probably ankles and knees and every other joint in your leg probably doesn't quite feel too good after that. But then again, I've never fallen from a high distance and landed on my feet, so I wouldn't really know. Can't really say I'm a professional or anything of that nature of falling from a high distance and landing on your feet. I would just imagine it would hurt. Come here, dear. Kill it! Dang it, Connor. Why don't you have your hatchet equipped? Totally could have had that deer. But oh no, you had to freaking pump your fist into your hand or whatever. You, I don't know. Fake punch. I don't know. Be stupid, basically. Like you always are, Connor. Like you always are. Oh, these guys don't like me, do they? Well, guess what? I don't care. Where am I going? Probably fast travel, for all I know. Um, Can I? Alright, let's set the marker so I can at least tell how far away I am. Oh my god. I'm like the distance of New York away right now. Pretty sure New York's like 800 meters or something like that. Close enough. Jeez. Whoa, fishing a little bit there, guys. Cool. Way to be. It'd be cool if I had a horse. Anyone seen a horse around here? I could use one right about now. 
I got a ways to travel. Good thing Connor has some amazing cardio. He would do great in a zombie apocalypse. He's great at hand-to-hand -hand combat and using weapons and blades and stuff like that. And he just has the greatest cardio ever because he can just run for miles and miles without even getting tired. And on top of that, he can free run like a boss. I mean, if I was to want to survive in a zombie apocalypse, I'd definitely have Connor on my team. Or at least an assassin, maybe Ezio. Ezio would be more fun than Connor. Because Ezio's at least a little more easy going and laid back and stuff like that. Connor's just kind of, oh, do this, do that all the time, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that would be nice. I would definitely choose one of them. They, they have some useful skills. Connor has hunting and tracking and stuff, so that might be a little more useful than Ezio. I don't think Ezio has any skills like that. He's just a lady charmer, and quite frankly, that wouldn't really be a, a valuable skill in the apocalypse.